Hi there. Now here we have a question based on matrices and areas. So uh, if you'd like to have a go at this one, just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, you can check your working against mine as I take you slowly through the work solution. Okay then, how do you get on? Well, to do this one, what I'd want to do first of all is just make a sketch. So I'm going to just say then that we've got our y-axis here and we'll have x-axis here. And we've got this triangle T with the vertices at 1K, 3 naught, and 11, 0. So let's just mark those on. We've got this one here, which I'm going to say is 3, 0. We've got another one here at 11, 0. And then we've got another one at 1K. So 1K, let's just say that's the point 1K. Just mark that in as 1K there. Now, we don't know what k is. 1k, if k was negative, it would be down there. So there's a possibility that we've got it down there as well. We'll come to that as we work through the solution. But let's just say that k was positive. Then the triangle that we would have would look something like this. Okay, so that's triangle T. But it could look like this one down here for just dotted in like that. Okay, it could look like that one. Now what we should be familiar with is how the determinant of your transformation matrix acts when it comes to working with areas. If you'd looked at previous tutorials on this, you'd know that the determinant gives us the area scale factor. So what I'm saying is essentially that if we took the area of triangle T that we have here, multiplied it by the area scale factor, which is given by the determinant of this, okay, we'll come to that in a moment, it will give us the new area of the triangle T prime, which is 364. Well, that area scale factor, okay, let's just put it here, the area scale factor is equal to the determinant then of that matrix. Let's just write debt of 6 minus 2, 1, 2. And if you work out that determinant in the usual way, 6 times 2, which is 12, and then you would subtract the product here, 1 times minus 2, which is minus 2. So you're going to have minus minus 2, so that's plus 2, and that comes to 14. So what we've got here is the area of T, times 14 will give us 364. So what is the area of T? Well, the area of triangle T okay, is going to be equal to half the base. We can see that the distance across here is 8 units. So you've got 8 divided by 2, half the base, times the height, which is K. So you end up with it equaling 4K. So what we've got here then is therefore the area of T, which is 4K, multiplied by the area scale factor, 14, has got to give us the new area of the triangle T prime, which was 364. And if you rearrange this equation to get K, K will be equal to 364 divided by 56, and that gives you 6.5. Now, k could be 6.5 if k was a positive value, but it could be that k is down here. So it could be plus or minus 6.5, okay? So any one of those values would do here. And that's how you do it, okay?